When we talk about common mistakes that people make when preparing for the UK exam, a few things usually stand out. Starting out too late, neglecting time to practice, and overlooking the use of the whiteboard or the digital calculator. But the truth is, there is another crucial factor that can make or break your performance, and that is managing stress while you are preparing for the UK exam. So in this video, we will talk about why managing stress is so important in the weeks leading up to the UK exam, and we'll provide some tips and techniques to help you manage stress before the exam to optimize your performance. Let's get started. So first let's talk about why managing stress is so crucial before exams and particularly before the UK exam. Firstly, performance optimization. High levels of stress can negatively impact your cognitive function, your memory and your concentration making it really difficult to perform at your best on exam day. Effective stress management can help to reduce anxiety and will promote a calm and focused state of mind, allowing you to optimize your performance and demonstrate your capabilities during the exam. Secondly is retention and recall of information. Excessive stress can impair the brain's ability to retain and recall information. When stressed, the brain releases a hormone known as cortisol, which can interfere with memory formation and retrieval. By managing stress, you can create an optimal learning environment and enhance your ability to retain information and recall it accurately during the UCAT. And thirdly is confidence. Stress and anxiety can undermine your self-confidence and impact your ability to perform well. Effective stress management can help you build resilience, boost self-esteem and cultivate a positive mindset. Increased confidence can help you approach exams with a sense of self-assurance, enabling you to tackle challenges more effectively and perform to the best of your abilities. And fourthly is physical and emotional well-being. Excessive stress can have detrimental effects on your physical and your emotional health. It can lead to sleep deprivation, decreased immune function and increased risk of burnout and can contribute to mental health problems including anxiety and depression. Prioritizing stress management before your exams helps to protect your overall well-being, ensuring that you maintain a healthy balance between academic demands and self-care. If you want to know why stress management is so important for the UK exam, then you can check out this video here. Now that we know the importance of stress management before exams, let's have a look at some practical tips that can help you manage stress when studying for the UK. Firstly, develop a study plan. Creating a well-structured plan is the first step. This doesn't just help to organize your study material, but it also gives you a sense of control that can help to limit the overwhelm that then leads to stress. At FutureDoc, we recommend that you divide your UCAT preparation into three main phases. First is the familiarization phase. Here you are getting to know the different sections and the types of questions that will come up in the UCAT exam, and you are learning the best techniques and strategies to tackle those questions. The second phase is to practice questions on time. During this section, we recommend that you take your time and you start practicing questions without the pressure of the time limit. Here, we recommend that you tackle one section at a time and you really try to get the question right. And if you don't get it right, make sure you understand why you got the question wrong. In phase three, you will start doing practice questions under timed condition. And here we really crank up the intensity, anything from three weeks to three months before the date of your UCAT test. It is also worth doing some mock UCAT exams to figure out where your weak areas are and to give you a sense of what the exam is actually going to be like. If creating a personalized study plan feels overwhelming, then you are not the only person. This is something that students come to us very often with and it's something that we at FutureDoc help students to create. A personalized and a tailored UCAT study plan. We then have effective time management. Time management skills play a vital role when it comes to managing your stress. You want to avoid procrastination by setting deadlines for each study session and plan regular breaks within your revision period to avoid burnout. Ideally, you want to adjust to the tests to hour duration. You can prepare by doing a number of two to three hours study sessions. Doing anything more than two to three hours per study session 
is probably not as productive because you'll start to lose focus and efficiency. And as a result, you will retain less information. Although it might seem like a good idea at the time, studying 24 hours a day for seven days a week is going to lead to burnout and will result in a lower score on the day of the test. Rest is very important when it comes to the UCAT and you need to give your brain time to get adjusted and accustomed to a new way of thinking. You also want to adopt healthy lifestyle habits. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial for being able to manage your stress effectively. Adequate sleep, regular exercise and a nutritious diet can significantly impact your cognitive abilities and your emotional well-being. Prioritize getting seven to eight hours of quality sleep per night to improve your memory consolidation and concentration instead of getting less sleep to try and study as much as you can. Also engage in physical activities that you enjoy as exercise releases endorphins, which helps to promote a positive mood. You may also want to incorporate mindfulness and relaxation techniques. Adding these into your routine can alleviate stress and enhance your ability to focus. Deep breathing exercises, meditation and yoga are powerful tools to calm your mind and reduce anxiety. You could consider using a mobile app or a guided meditation to help you do this effectively. Doing this can also be particularly helpful after a study session to help you solidify what you have learned. And finally, seek support. During challenging and stressful times, it's important to lean on your support network. Reach out to family, friends, and tutors who can provide guidance and motivation. Share your concerns with people as talking about your stress can help to alleviate its impact. You may also want to consider forming study groups with other students, as this will allow you to collaborate with each other, discuss difficult concepts, and motivate each other. At FutureDoc, we also help with the best success and productivity hacks to help keep this process as calm, organized, and stress-free as possible. So if you are sitting the UCAT this year and would like some personalized support, feel free to reach out to us at futuredoc.com. As you prepare for the UCAT exam, implementing these strategies and techniques into your daily routine will not only help to optimize your performance, but will also help you to manage stress more effectively in your personal and your professional life. Thank you all for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe for more study tips at FutureDoc. Best of luck with your UCAT preparation and I will see you next time.